Uh, this is a big, sprawling series, but a paraphrase, so forgive me if I get some shit wrong on purpose. So, in the interest of time. <laughs> so, the foundation is this, the only, like, is this galactic spanning society, right? And uh, a lot of cool stuff happened at the foundation, but it gets taken over by this super psychic who calls himself the mule. Whole other story. But he's a super psychic, he gets people to, on his side, not by like blasting them, making their heads blow up, he gets them to like love him. Just want to be cool with him. Like, fuck you, the mule! Really? Nope! <laughs> <laughs> that's how he takes over. And he, and he runs the foundation with an iron fist and is, has them on a, a single-minded plan to overcome something else. How, and again, when you've got all the beer, <laughs> How to take out, want to see the mule taken out? Well, you'd send in a, a maverick hotshot pilot in a prototype starship that would fly against the mule's fleet, and there's laser blasts everywhere, and he does a barrel roll, and shit's blowing up. All of a sudden, the starfighter <coughs> turns into a robot with a sword and a shield and a ponytail and, and tits, I guess. And it starts slicing through the enemy thing, and then it turns back into like a starfighter, and some rebel commander is like saying, Maverick, you can't push the X-23 that hard, it can't take the pressure. Screw you, Commander, I'm going for it. And he shoots a proton torpedo into a hole the size of a womp rat. <laughs> Big explosion! <laughs> All the beer. <laughs> <laughs> or, he sends in a never-do-well group of space bounty hunters with space shotguns and space trench coats <laughs> who don't care about your rebellion. Who can do the things that the real heroes aren't allowed to do? And they just blow everybody away, like break five or six humanitarian conventions, <laughs> kick down the mule's door, make some quip about him being a psychic, <laughs> blow his brains out. And that's what I think about your psychic powers or something. I don't know. Where's my paycheck? Space car. <laughs> that is not the right. Oh, the beer! Yeah! <laughs> That is not the writer that Isaac Asimov was. <coughs> Isaac Asimov, among many things, liked to write about psychology. Woo! Really? Some psycho some psychology yeah. in the house? Like, psychology! Uh, uh, I can't drink beer to that. Maybe you can. I don't know. Wine time. <laughs> wine time. Wine time. Psych majors are like, drink wine. <laughs> so. So they don't send in, like, a Maverick hotshot pilot or a, or a space bounty hunter. They send in a psychologist. <laughs> what? Uh, uh, I want a drink. <laughs> Come on. And it's not even that a slick away that they get to see him. Like, well, what's on my appointment? What's, what's next, Commander? Well, there's a psychologist here to see you, sir. And how did he get in? He made an appointment, sir. <laughs> 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 send him in. And they send in like a space psychologist. But he turns out to be a super psychic too. Oh yeah, the beer! Fantastic! And they get into this little psychic battle. And this, yeah. Oh yeah, psychic power battle. Science fiction, yeah! But there's a stalemate. Uh, and they're like, alright, well yours don't work on me and mine don't work on yours. You got a standoff. Yeah, psychic standoff. This is great. They're gonna do some weird psychic trick. Yeah, let's talk. Ah! <laughs> <laughs> Are you gonna this on YouTube? My beer's getting warm. I hope too. <laughs> and they I talk walk. in this stalemate. It's not the greatest video, but it's, it's the audio. It's the audio. And I'm waiting there. Seven pages. Eight pages. I'm waiting for the psychologist to shoot first. <laughs> the hotshot pilot to just rise up behind him in the big window like the tit ponytail robot. <laughs> it's not happening. My beer is getting warm. And then all of a sudden, oh fuck! <laughs> on that, on that tenth page, on that tenth page, I realized that throughout the conversation, Isaac Asimov, who's also a big fan of logic puzzles, has been leading the mule in a wonderful circle of logic that leads him right to an opening in. Nice. With words and sentences. 
no no shooting first, no space bounty hunter, no nothing. It was just just the use of logic of a logic puzzle, words and sentences. Just make him go like for a second. Oh yeah, I boom. <laughs> <laughs> renders him powerless. I remember to this day. I remember where I was when I was a kid, 15 years old, over 15 years. Oh shit, close to 20 years ago. <laughs> Fuck. I remember where I was, like on the bus. What I was doing, what I was wearing, where we were driving past when I reached that moment. And it was the most amazing thing I'd ever read. Just, he got it. Fuck, he got it. Just like that. I gotta go back and read that again. <laughs> okay, great. So that's, that's where it started. I didn't see that before. Oh shit. And then, oh shit. Oh shit. Oh, shit. <laughs> I have like a nerd gas of like right there. Again. This is incredible. That's the power of the intellectual victory. That is it. Now again, space punching, yeah, great, but the beer eventually goes away. Nothing else I've read has lasted with me like that for over two decades. That's the power of the intellectual victory. Now again, it's very easy for me to stand up here and say, write a smart victory. It's very easy to say. It's difficult. It's very difficult. You gotta know your shit from page one. And if you don't know your shit, go back and change it. That's why we invented erasers and the delete button. <laughs> be afraid to revive shit if you have it. But, oh my god. If, it, if you can capture that, that level of the intellectual dominance, oh, it's so good. Quick aside, there's a more, uh, more recent example of it. Anybody play Fallout 3 by a chance? Nice. Yes. So, real fast. If you have your science skill high enough, you can do that to somebody. Nice. True story. Two o'clock in the morning, my wife works a real job, so she's asleep. <laughs> I, I can't sleep that night, so I'm playing video games. And I reach this person, and the, the science dialogue thing comes up, and it looks a little familiar. I'm like, I wonder what that is. Well, I smell these points in the science skill, and I just... No. <laughs> <gasps> I'm doing it. That's the circle of logic. From the thing. I'm gonna I'm gonna do the thing! I'm gonna do the thing. <laughs> <laughs> Swear to God, two o'clock in the morning, my wife comes around to the bedroom. What the fuck are you yelling at? <laughs> I did the thing from the foundation trilogy! I made him use his powers on itself! I'm so smart! <laughs> Yes. <laughs> anyway, um, that's why I'm that point. Okay, um, 